In episode 9 of Dragon House, the focus was on the Higtower House, the Greenhouse. And it focused on explaining the motivations and ambitions of the characters in that house, as well as their vulnerabilities and flaws. So far we all hated this house, but some might change their minds after this chapter. The chapter is called the Green Council, and what is most surprising is to see the empty palaces and rooms, referring to the lack of power of the Targaryen after the death of King Viserys. We can see how Alicent cries after the death of Viserys, as it seems that unlike what we thought she did love him, she then meets with her father Otto, to explain her plans to crown Aegon. Since according to her it was the king's wish for this to happen. Interesting fact, in the books Eamon Targaryen has a blue sapphire placed in his missing eye, so we might see in future episodes, that Eamon removes the patch thus revealing said sapphire. In the Green Council everyone knew this was going to happen, and they seek the approval of the Land of Rivers and the High Garden, who are important allies. They need them because war times are coming. The Coin Counselor disagrees and while well, we already saw in the series what happens to those who talk too much. From what the series shows Kristen Cole is in love with Alicent and that is why he defends her to the hilt, it may be because of what we saw in the first chapters, how he spared her life. Ser Harold who was a knight of House Westerling who became Lord Commander of the Kingsguard. He served King Viserys, resigns his position, after Otto, Alicent's father, sends him to assassinate Renera and her allies, saying that he only recognizes the authority of the king. Alicent does not want more bloodshed and is in favor of peace, perhaps following the wishes of the late King Viserys Trigarian. Her father tells her that it is essential to kill Renera, as many people will continue to support her and this could lead to future conflict. She flatly refuses as she claims that the king would never have wanted his daughter to die because he loved her. When one of the men on the council disagrees, Alison threatens to send him to the wall, letting us know that this is already in the works. In other words, as we saw in Game of Thrones Castle Black, it's on. This is the largest castle belonging to the Night's Watch. It is located near the center of the wall, between the Queen's Gate to the west and the Shield of the Oak to the east, at the north end of the King's Road. Bandits, murderers and traitors go there, to protect Westeros from what lies beyond the wall, such as the Wildlings. Everything that comes after that is geared to Aegon's proclamation as the new king and the need to make sure it's not going to be short-lived. That divides the main characters. On the one hand, it becomes clear again that Alicent's eldest son is far from being the ideal choice to be the new occupant of the Iron Throne. He himself isn't convinced, and in the end only Rainey's unexpected decision not to sweep everything away allows his reign to last more than a few seconds. Anyway, it makes sense that it would. Just as Alicent wanted nothing to do with killing Renera at the initial council, here Rhaenys does not seek to antagonize the crown, out of fear. In the end, she could very well have been executed like other dissenters who did not want to acknowledge Aegon's aspirations. In the end, the problem is that the two aspirants to the throne have good reasons to justify themselves and assert their legitimacy. And let's not forget that all of Renera's children are bastards and that only a matter of genetics has made everything complicated to unsuspected limits. By birthright, the throne belongs to Aegon, however, his brother Eamon Targaryen does not agree and we can hear him say, I am the younger brother who studies history and philosophy, I am the one who trains with the sword and who rides the greatest dragon in the world, it is I who must. Think of him as the next in line to the throne. This he says as they search the realm for Aegon until they find him. Aegon refuses to assume the crown, as he does not feel ready to rule. But his mother the queen is waiting for him and is convinced that he is the best choice. We have to talk about the end of episode 9 of the Dragon House, because, finally, everyone has taken off their masks and we know which side each character is on. The Dance of the Dragons has begun, each of the Targaryen is in position and ready to attack, and the Seven Kingdoms have, for the moment, a new king. We could see how Kristen Cole crowned Aegon by locking up anyone who could prevent the illegitimate coronation of Alicent's son.